And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are proud to present the first three of America's ten outstanding young men for 1980. At age 18, he successfully converted a Model A Ford truck to operate on hydrogen. Today, 32-year-old Roger Evan Billings is president and chairman of Billings Energy Corporation, a company which has developed the technology required to introduce hydrogen as the clean new fuel of the future. The holder of numerous patents, he has developed a number of techniques which are widely held to be partly responsible for the feasibility of using hydrogen as fuel. His work includes the development of the first hydrogen car in America, the first liquid hydrogen fuel car, and the first hydrogen bus. Last year, his company was engaged by the Nuclear Regulatory Commission to help solve the hydrogen bubble dilemma during the Three Mile Island nuclear incident. Roger, his wife, Tonya, and daughters, Kimberly, Beverly, Stephanie, Natalie, and Melanie, make their home in Independence, Missouri. With the ever-growing need for a pollution-free and renewable fuel to keep the world economy moving, his contributions have yet to reach their zenith. Ladies and gentlemen, one of America's ten outstanding young men, Roger Evan Billings. Ladies and gentlemen, JCs, JCs, and fellow citizens, it's an honor to be here with you this evening. I wish to present a small token of my appreciation in the form of recognition to my dear parents. Early in my life, as I became interested in Boy Scouting, my father suddenly found that he had an interest in scouting. And finally, when it was time to convert the world's first hydrogen car, he almost let me down. He had just bought a new Chevrolet, and I said, Dad, we need a car to experiment on. <laughs> <laughs> he says, don't you dare touch that car. <clears throat> well, I went to school and coerced one of my good school friends into letting me work on his Volkswagen. And we were almost ready to fire the engine up in the back steps of our high school. When that great man arrived, he didn't have his Chevrolet because I really think he was worried <laughs> what the outcome might be, but he had a Model A Ford, and that Model A became this nation's first hydrogen car. And I pledge myself to you, my fellow citizens, and to my Father in heaven, that I will give the very best of all of my abilities to become worthy. Thank you. <laughs> 